Hi there, I'm CJ, better known as the Candle Doctor. I'm here to teach, demonstrate, and entertain the wonderful world of candle making. If you never made candles before, you're in the right place. And if you're a professional candle maker, we're going to be making a bunch of series talking about the different types of candles and be able to answer a lot of questions for you. Because down below, we have an email address. You just send your questions in and we'll give you the answers. Okay, so for, for those who have never made candles before, let me show you. We got some wonderful things we can do. We can have a lot of fun. We can make them colorful, nice packaging, basic candles, neat designs. We can do all kinds of things. That's what we're here for, to enjoy candle making. Don't be scared, because it really isn't that hard to get started. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to make a candle show you how simple it is. Yes, for those who've made candles and have problems making them, there's a lot of things you can run into. There are road bumps, and we're going to cover those again in later sessions. But if you just want to make a basic, simple candle, this is how you do it. Now, what do you need first? You need wax. So here I have soy wax, what we call C3. We're going to need a little UV. That's kind of like what you use sunscreen at the beach to keep yourself from tanning. Well, if you're going to make candles and you're going to place it in the shelf maybe to sell it later, you're going to need some UV just to keep it from changing color. Don't forget one of the most important things, fragrance. We're going to add a little bit of fragrance. And that's it. That's the basic ingredients. Okay? So I want to make the first candle. So it's going to be a glass candle. All right? We need about eight ounces of wax. So, you buy a scale and you're going to measure it. So I'm going to use the scale that I have here already. Coffee pan, some kind of container to hold the wax. And again, we just want to add a half a pound. We're only making one candle. And a little bit more. And there I go. I got a half a pound. Okay. And then I mentioned the UV. You don't need a lot. Very, very little. Our UV here, I'm just going to do a pinch. Actually, a little bit smaller because it's a pinch per pound. So a pinch of that. There's your UV protection. The fragrance we're going to add later. We want to go ahead and we want to melt the wax. How do you melt the wax? We got ourselves a saucepan. I have a little bit of water. Pour the water into the saucepan. You don't need a whole lot. Basically what we're doing is creating what we call a double boiler. We're going to add the wax into the saucepan onto the heat source. I start melting the wax so we're that much further along. But this is how you would do it. Just real quick, you put it onto the heat source, okay? So I've already pre-done it. You could use a candy thermometer, but if you make a lot of candles, most of us like to use the temperature gun. That way we just point, click, and it'll give us an instant reading. Here we are at 158 degrees. I want to pour it at about 160, so I'm almost there. Because it's about ready to melt, I'm sorry, ready to pour, I got to prepare my glass. What do I need to do first? I need to warm it up. We don't want to pour wax into a cold glass, so I warm it up a little bit. Once it's warmed up, I can go ahead and add my wick. I have glue tabs. I like these. You can use a glue gun if you want, or you can add your wick in after. It doesn't matter. As long as you get that wick in there secured. Wick. There are different size wicks for different purposes. We'll cover that later. I want to secure it into my glass.
And the wick is pretty long. A lot of them come pre-length already. So I'm going to cut it. Not all the way down, but it's easier to work with when it's a little shorter. Then to center it, I like to use popsicle sticks. You can use a pencil, a pen. Now I prepare my glass. Time to add the fragrance. So I have a half a pound here. I want to give it about 7% fragrance. You don't want to use too much fragrance. So I'm going to weigh out. I'm going to do it in grams. So I'm going to add about 20 grams. I'll put it into the blend, and then I'm going to stir it up. That's going to make a nice scented candle. Take a temperature reading. 159 degrees, almost there. Stir it up a little bit. Again, I like to pour it at 160 degrees. Some people pour it a little bit warmer. Some people pour it a little bit colder, but 160 is ideal. There I am, 160 degrees. Stir it one more time because I want to make sure the fragrance is uniform. And I pour. Now, wax takes up more space as a liquid than it does as a solid. So it's going to shrink a little bit. And when it does, it forms a little bit of a cavity at top. When that cavity forms, and about two hours later, we're going to do a second pouring. We call that a topping. To help the candle speed up in cooling, here's a finished one that I did the first pouring, so we don't have to wait for two hours. I'm going to poke some holes in it. And what am I doing by poking the holes? Heat likes to build up in the center. So poking the holes is going to allow the heat to release and the candle to cool a little bit quicker. Don't worry, you're not going to damage your candle because we're going to put a topping on it. So like I said, maybe two to three hours depending on the temperature in your house or your work area. We'll top it. In this case, it's ready to top because I made this earlier. So. I'm just going to pour a little bit. I only want to cover the top. I don't want to go much higher. If you go too high, you're going to get like a separate pour line and you'll show it on your candle. Not a big deal. It's not an air, so to speak, um, technical air. It's just kind of a cosmetic air. So there you go. I've poured the second topping. About an hour from now, that will solidify. And I always like to tell people, wait at least 24 hours before you burn your candles, because you want the wax to completely solidify in the center as well as the edges. Okay, so that is how simple it is to make a candle. I hope this demonstration has shown you that not only it's easy, but I think you can have some fun. Some of you may even make candles to sell to make some money. No, no, no bad thing about that on the side. And there's all kinds of varieties of glass out there that you can make. We got gold, and silver, a unicorn color, a mermaid. You can make it fancy by adding lids. Different types of jars. You can color your wax. I didn't demonstrate that today, but I'll show you how to add dye later. Okay, very simple. All neat things. So I hope this demonstration will encourage you to follow our future shows and sessions. And again, if you have any questions, below is our email address. Send it to me. We'll also list where you can also purchase the items that I showed you today. Thank you for joining us.